Good evening, everybody. This is Camilla Nancy, the DCEN News Blog, bringing you a end of the week uh, conversation or uh, just a little update. On Monday night, I attended the Edgecombe County Commissioner's meeting, and um, there were some public comments about the Edgecombe County uh, Next County uh, Public Schools the merger. Uh, you know, this has been an ongoing conversation, and it's, I, I don't understand, um, it's been several meetings, but the most important meeting for me is back in February, on February 24th, I believe it is, uh, in 2020, when there was a joint school board meeting um, at Princeville, in Princeville um, with the school board, it's some kind of school board and it's some kind of commissioners. And I thought that was a great presentation. And uh, you can go to my YouTube page and you can see that uh, meeting that night. Uh, I think it will give you some great input on what to uh, take place if the merger the merger take effect, and if it don't, now I didn't attend the meeting last month meeting in July because I was home sick. Uh, but during the public comments, uh, I found quite interesting, and I really enjoyed the comments by uh, C.B. Dodgers and also Attorney Teresa Bright. Their comments why we need to do the demerger. Now there were some others. However, um, I, I don't understand where uh, uh, Faye Taylor was coming from. She used to work in the school system, uh, uh, a teacher, and then a uh, principal. And then was also on the school board. I thought her comments was, I don't know where they were coming from. But in my opinion, and anybody that's been following uh, the Edgecombe County uh, Public Schools and the National County Public Schools as it relates to the city of Rocky Mount and they asked the uh, Rocky Mount City Council to uh, stop paying the gap money. But again, like I say, what you need to do is go on my YouTube page and look at the February 24th, 2020 meeting, I believe it is. But I'll post it uh, once I get off. Okay, uh, I want to move on to something. Oh, well, let me go back. Also, um, during the public comments last month, I was looking at Commissioner Viola Harris. She had video the, the public comments. And uh, Reverend Roosevelt Higgs, as he addressed the, the uh, county commissioners, he used my address. Now, everybody on that board knows he does not live in Tarboro, um, which is my physical address. But my full stop is box is um, Pine Top because I live three miles out of Pine Top and seven miles out of Tarboro. But I had the uh, full stop is box uh, before the flood, so it came in handy during the uh, being dislocated during the time of the uh, 1999 flood. But um, I had sent the county manager, Eric Evans, my concern, my complaint about Roosevelt using my address. Well, let me back up. I called uh, Commissioner Ola Harris, and when I called her, the first thing she said, you called to kick me out, too. I said, no, I'm calling about uh, those that use my address. She said, yeah, I, I um, thought I knew the address. Then the following day, uh, I think I emailed the kind of measure that night, and then the following day, I um, called him, and he said he thought he recognized the address as well. But I was hoping when I went to the county commission meeting on this past uh, Monday, the August meeting, that I would get some type of response because I had held off going to the master office to see what could be done because I wanted to see what the county commission was going to do. And that might have been enough because I ain't got time to be tied up in the court system. I've done that twice with this clown, uh, Real Rosa, he, and I, I, I ain't got time. I work a real job 10 hours a day. And and, 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 do, and and I do other things. But I was very disappointed on um, 
Monday night to know that nothing had been done. And um, when I uh, approached them about it, about first I started out with my concerns about the demerger, and then um, I ended up with uh, uh, real, real good. He used my address, and the uh, county commissioner chairman. Then Wiggins asked the attorney, the county attorney, to contact uh, Reverend Higgs. Well, that should have been done before the meeting that night, and it should have been uh, some discussion when I did public comment. Unlike uh, the other two white females that came up and spoke about their concerns, they had uh, a discussion. And if they had to have a discussion about mine, they could have asked the attorney like they did about the other two, they could have asked him, what do he, um, uh, what can be done? Okay, after the meeting, I walked up to the podium, and I asked, and I asked him how long will it be uh, before I get a response. And uh, the chairman said, well, he's going to get get back with you, uh, get back with, get with the Reverend Higgs. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, he said, well, but you, what you need to do is go uh, uh, legal advice, because we can't do nothing legal. Hell, I know you can't do nothing legal. I mean, I know the law uh, 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 procedures. My point is what the county commission is going to do. He said that probably what we'll be able to do is uh, not allow him to speak to uh, address the, uh, the county commissioners in the future. I said, and that's what I want to hear, what you all are going to do. So when I go talk to the uh, to the master uh, legal, matter of fact, when I uh, sent the complaint to the county manager, I also uh, cc'd it to our county sheriff. And I spoke to him about it, and uh, I don't know what anything can be done legally, but I know the county commission can do something because when you walk up to the podium, they ask for your name and your address. So it's something that they can do as far as um, not allowing him to speak at the meeting. Okay, that, that's why I thought we have some things going on in the county because we don't address things and we allow people to come out to our um, our black leaders. Uh, he's on WNCR TV, uh, Bronx Williams show every day. Try to discredit even some on this on, on the county commissioner board and the sheriff uh, and other black leaders almost daily. It's sad. Okay, move on to. Uh, Something else. Um, this week, uh, I, I, I am not um, I, I am not a member of Rocking Out Percentage Citizens, so I can't see what they post. So people be sending me things. And uh, this week, I got uh, uh, some stuff from uh, about uh, something that was posted on Rocking Out Percentage Citizens about a man over at Ward One, uh, Reverend Andre Knight, City Councilman Ward, about a man living in some kind of condition. And um uh Cornel Pitt had contacted uh Andre Knight and because he didn't get back with him or so he said and um he posted on Rock Mount Consent Citizen and on his page too I am assuming. But anyway my, my what I'm getting to is it, it it's sad because afterwards I seen uh some communication that was sent via, uh, I think a text message about the situation where Reverend Andre Knight had got back with him. But to make a long story short, my thing is, we gotta be careful at the things we say. Because you open the door for safe Negroes and racist white folks to come after us, and it may not even make sense. So you gotta be careful what you say and do. And I know the summers ain't there yet. I might have been guilty back in the day, but I have grown. But I try to be careful as what I say. Um, just like uh, when um, I and, and and I try to address people uh, 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 directly. If I don't talk to them, I'm gonna post it on Facebook where they can see it, send them a message, call them or whatever. But just like um, when um, Jay Kelly won the uh, the seat on the city council. Commissioner Harris made a comment about uh, he'll be bringing a breath, uh, a fresh breath, a breath of fresh air to the council. And I asked her, "What was she talking about?" Because I see it as you know, you're talking about the, the black candidates is up there, not doing a good job, or uh, 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 
uh, uh, the councilwoman Chris Miller has not done a good job. So just what are you saying? So she said it was a figure of speech in her response. But again, we got to be careful as to what we say to open the door up. Because those folk over there, those racists over there, are all rocking out concerned citizens. Then, like I say, you have some safe Negroes that will uh, take stuff and run with it. And, and I've seen some comments where some people responded because they had responded to what Connell Pitt had said. And uh, they came back after Andre had responded. And they said, well, I just got one side. And we do that too much. I mean, I, I, I'm sick of it. I've been out here all these years speaking up for un, uh, ungrateful Negroes, fight for them, fight for their children, and it makes no sense that we got to uh, uh, go through these things. We can we can dis agree to disagree, but make sure when you come after your leaders, make sure you know what you're talking about because it makes no sense. And talking about unity on the Rocky Mount City Council, Jay Keller was not elected to unify. Unify who? It's five black councilmen, men, uh, 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 three of them are ministers, pastors. And, I mean, it makes no sense that we got to uh, uh, talk about unifying because you got two white males on the council. One just got on the council. So he was not elected to to unify the council. He was elected to do the work of the community and uh, 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 bring stuff to the table and hope they go along with it. Now, our, uh, the, the, the four black councilmen that was up there, they've been voting together. Now, I'm going to say it. People have been skeptical of TJ, but he basically been doing a good job. Uh, when Richard Jordan, when Richard Jordan came on, well, it's four ministers, uh, three of them are uh, pastors, four of them are ministers. But when uh, three of them are uh, pastors and, and, and one of them is ministers. But my point is, when Reverend Richard Jordan came on, folk didn't think he was going to support what was right. I ain't going to say support the black councilman that was already up there because they bought that. When you get up there and do your job and do what's right, then it doesn't matter who the other players are. But I got a problem when we got the power, we got to use it. I don't I don't mean abuse it, but we got to use it. Now, we got five, we done set another historical record in Rocky Mount. Five black councilmen. They come in there and do what's right and take Rocky Mount to another level. We know where Elias Dawkins, Commissioner Elias Dawkins is coming from, and it appears Tom Harris is coming up there with, an agenda as well, uh, uh, along with uh, lives and, and, and those folk out there in the uh, community that's trying to dis discredit our black council. Now, y'all can sit back and let them do it all if you want to, but you're the one that's going to lose. It's no reason why when these folks say these things, safe Negroes and racist white folks, it shouldn't be that they have to speak up for themselves because you know it ain't right and you need to speak up. So we as black folks have got to start unifying ourselves and the churches need to unify. That's where the unification need to come in at to these churches. You got the ministerial lines. What are they doing? Uh, you know, and, and then each individual pastor on a Sunday morning, you out here, if you, if, if you woke and, and, and concerned about what's going on in the community, then you need to be um, addressing your congregation on Sunday morning saying, we have got to shut down this crazy mess. I have noticed, uh, if you look at um, the J. Kelly race, I think people uh, have come to the conclusion that a lot of stuff these guys have been saying or has to about the council, the work that they are doing, and the main thing is people got to understand that you need to learn the role of the council. Everything is not the duty of a councilman or councilwoman. So you need to learn the role before you throw mess out about they need to do this, they need to do that. And then stuff that has happened in the past, you need to let them get it straight. You can talk about it, but give them the opportunity to fix it. 
Because I look at the Denton pool. First of all, the road that it's on, without the name of the pool, whatever the road is on, it shouldn't even be over there anyway. It's in a bad location. But people complain about, oh, the children can't go there and swim during this summer. Uh, 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 and it take a million dollars and the council let that. The, the council is not the day-to-day -day operation of the city. The council is to oversee them, but if it's not brought to them, then they don't know what goes on and within what the staff is hired to do. So uh, I'm, I'm going to shorten it, but this is one of the first, uh, uh, um, I don't know what to call it yet, but I know a lot of people rather look at than to read. So I must, uh, I was saying I was going to start doing a new thing. This is going to be a part of it. And, and I also am going to contact people. I would have been in, uh, Raleigh tonight with, um, Richard, um, uh, Wilson opened up an office with, with his artist, uh, artist, uh, uh, he opened up an office in Raleigh tonight. I would love to have been there, but I had coffee me, uh, uh, on, on the phone, uh, with my check. So then I left home to come do this, um, this this thing right here, like I said, I don't even know what I'm gonna call it, but it's, I'm, I'm gonna come up with a name. But um, and I also going to start uh, contacting folks I already have, asking them to uh, let's sit down and have a thirty to to thirty minutes to an hour conversation live, so that people can see what's going on, especially to shut down some of these lies, half truths. Cause I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm 59 years old. I started out when I was in my um, early 20s. Like I said, fighting for ungrateful Negroes. Uh, uh, um, that don't appreciate what I have done, and I'm not bragging about what I have done. But I know what I have done. It's documented in the school board meetings, the county commission meetings, all the meetings I've gone to, and on video. I just hate that they didn't have YouTube back then. I was putting it on video and putting it on live screen but that service is not available anymore so I lost all those videos and 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 not particularly about what I do but all the other stuff I have recorded meetings and stuff I would love to have that stuff but I'm gonna get ready to shut down because uh I work a real job 10 hours a day I volunteer to work on Saturday don't have to uh six hours and then do other things so tomorrow I'm going uh, to uh, go to work, get off, and go to uh, Stephen Lachelle's uh, 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 um, second anniversary for Step 98.1 radio station. And then uh, Sunday morning, I um, have been doing my men's day at, at my church, Ellison Chapel Church, for about the last three to four years. And I bring in our Honorable Sheriff, uh, Clee Atkinson, dynamic speaker. Preacher, uh, I be want to ordain him after he uh, preach every time he come, and when I go places and he's uh, preaching, speaking. So if you're not um, doing anything at eleven o'clock on Sunday morning, join us at forty three fifty two Anderson Chapel Church Road, Michaelsfield, North Carolina. If you're coming from Tarboro Way, if you get on forty three Highway going towards Greenville. Once you cross over the um, Pitt County line, it'll be the first road to your right. And the church will be down there on the uh, right. So again, join me Sunday morning at Anderson Chapel Church where we'll be having Men's Day. Sheriff Clee Atherton will be the speaker, preacher, and uh, some, some of his staff have uh, formed a group to come and sing for me, uh, uh, do the music. Uh, this, this will be the first time um, um, singing together, so come out and support them, and um, I think we'll be in for a treat. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I just uh, uh, enjoy, uh, again, Step 98.1 um, anniversary on tomorrow, the baddest uh, 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 gospel station on the East, and also our the baddest sheriff in the East, but not only the East, but North Carolina. So thank you for tuning in, 
And again, stay tuned for a once a week, if the Lord's will, for me to come to you live. But I hope I help somebody else. I'm, I'm still going to do a little piece of my summary, and I'm going to get better at it um, the next time. But um, I will be reaching out to people, uh, trying to get them to allow me to talk to them and um, so we can get the whole truth out there and not uh, continue to deal with half truths because we are hurting in the black community. We have got to unify in the community, in the churches, in every world. It is our time. Yes, it's our time. So good night and see you in the morning.